Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. Migrant father and daughter drowned in Rio Grande. Here's everything you should know. Democrats running for president and in Congress have been using the tragic deaths of an illegal immigrant father and his daughter who drowned in the Rio Grande trying to get into the United States as props to clobber President Donald Trump. They blame him for their deaths. Now we know they were given a dire warning moments before they jumped into the river. But that's not all. Don't miss this. The Salvadorian family that drowned in the Rio Grande was warned about the dangers of crossing the river before they drowned. A Central American migrant revealed, I noticed they were really nervous, scared. Ziomara Mejia, a Honduran migrant, said to the Associated Press about the Salvadorian family she met at Matamoros, a Mexican town that directly borders Brownsville, Texas. They had panic on their faces. Mejia was speaking about Oscar Alberto Martinez Ramirez and his wife and daughter. Together, the three family members had immigrated from El Salvador in hopes of reaching the U.S. and claiming asylum. However, Mejia informed them that they sh would not be able to add their names to the list of aliens waiting to make their own asylum claims. They said to me, you haven't tried to cross the river, Mejia told the AP. We said to them, no, because of the children more than anything. I don't know how to swim and my kids do. But either way, I'm not going to risk it. Unfortunately for the family, they ignored the dire warning. Martinez on Sunday took his wife, 21-year-old Tania Vanessa Avalos, and 23-month-old daughter Valeria to the bank of the Rio Grande River in Matamoros. The 25-year-old father first swam with his daughter across the river into Brownsville. However, when he went back for his wife, the young girl leaped into the river after her dad. Martinez swam back to grab her, but both ended up getting caught in the river's currents. The two ultimately drowned to death. Photos of their lifeless bodies went viral, bringing renewed scrutiny of the immigration crisis on the southern border. I told him, son, don't go, but if you do go, leave me the girl, Rosa Ramirez, the mother of Martinez, said. Martinez, however, insisted that his young daughter accompany him. In an interview with BBC published Thursday, Ramirez offered a message to people considering making the trek to the U.S. Don't try this. I know that in this country everything is very difficult, but our lives are more valuable. This is such a tragedy. No one wants to see people meeting their end in such a brutal way. However, President Trump is not to blame. If anyone is to blame, it's the Democrats and their cohorts on those non-governmental agencies who are using these migrants for political gain. They are also the ones urging them to leave their homes and come to America. Many of the NGOs are down in South America helping with transportation on buses, etc. Americans weighed in on the problem with illegals crossing the Rio Grande and the border crisis. I lived in El Paso, Texas, 20 plus years ago. Politically, different times, but the crossing's the same. Illegals have always crossed the Rio Grande, and half of them drown. They also cut across the rail tracks, and there were bodies with parts missing. It is not the president's fault, tweeted Sharon Robertson. She added, it is the fault of the individuals crossing illegally. In Arizona, they die in the desert. They need to stay in their own country, apply for asylum, then come here legally. That's the way they are still alive. During the Obama-Biden administration, 535 migrants died in one Texas county alone, Brooks County. The county is located about 80 miles north of the Texas-Mexico border and is home to Falfurrias Border Patrol Checkpoint on U.S. Highway 281, reported Breitbart. Yet the leftist media said not one word. The Democrats weren't crying and lamenting about those deaths. Let's make sure people get the facts. Facts matter. Without them, we are left with the democratic lies that many Americans believe. If you support President Trump, make sure others know the truth about this tragic event. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.